Would you meet my great constituents here? I'm Jack Jacks, Mr. President. Uh, my daughter editor. sent you a little note of you someplace and read it sometime. She'd oh, okay. appreciate it. She's one of your greatest of all. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Sun Moon Star such as you developed. And I know this is a new experience for you. <laughs> well, I've been here a few times. Yes. yes. Well, why don't we gather here for a family picture? All right. All right. Family. You too. Why don't you ladies get in the middle and it's a, right. it's, a, it's a prettier picture. Yes. Well, well, all right. I'm so I'd like to have one of them with you. We'll shake your hands for the magazine. All right. Let us get out of it then. Okay. Thank you. Now we'll do it. All right. Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Yeah, I just say one little bit. Thank you very much about Barlow Street. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mr. Well, President, it's an honor. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. Congratulations. A little late, because I'm <laughs> like me. You're coming to the end of your term. That's right. That's okay. right. Sir. This is my parents, Fonsiel and Jay Ray. Mr. Ray, great to see you. And this is Sister Frances Lawton. She's Mr. President. She's Mr. President. Well, I know you must be very proud parents. Oh, we are. We The office has asked me to bring you a little memento. We have America's Dreamers cap that we'd like for you to have. <laughs> and we understand that your wife is the honorary chairperson of the Partnership for Youth Program and Time to Ride Program. And the Dreamers Program has just become a sponsor and supporter of this and the America's Dreamers. We'll now be an ambassador and spokesperson for her program, and we thank her for everything she does. Well, for the teenagers of America, and we wanted to thank her and give this to you. Well, and to I would be very pleased to take that tour, and I thank you <laughs> for this. Now, no one will think that I'm the junior. Miss. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Another chance for that. Let <laughs> me and I get a picture, and then why don't we okay. get a picture? Okay. Right. That would be an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That'll make a nice picture. Thank you. Okay. Right. Well, thank you so much, sir. Well, listen, thank you for all of this and the message to, to Nancy. Well, we appreciate both of you tremendously. Thank you. We really do. It's so nice. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. you have a lot of support from the people in our part of the country down in central Texas. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. 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 This is Mr. Harvey Friedman. Yes. President Harvey Friedman. How are you? Commander of the Jewish War Veterans. And has been doing a great job traveling all over the country. Getting our picture taken here. Yeah, I know we are. I see it. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, listen. Well, I just want to say that, uh, again, it's a pleasure to meet you and you're doing a great job. And it's, it's, you know, something that uh, this country is very, very proud of you. And I hope that uh, you understand that. Well, listen, I thank you very much. I hope I can deserve it. And I want to thank both of you also for the support that you've been, uh, particularly on our SDI. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, I wonder if I can have a word. I appreciate it. something for my son. His name is Brian. He's not too much trouble. Okay, right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
President, thank you very much. Well, please do. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Mr. President. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much. And incidentally, thank you very much for the vote on the Saudi Union. Oh, I felt very strong. Uh, okay. well, I appreciate it. Thanks for taking care of our French friends this afternoon. I was supposed to be with them. Oh. I had to rush back to do a vote. Oh. I want to ask you how you voted. <laughs> <laughs> or what? <laughs> or what? Yeah. No, but that's a great museum project. I Norman I'm really enthused about Did that. they tell you they're going to put it in a bunker? No, they they're didn't. Gonna, they're going to utilize the German headquarters bunker right outside of Kong. And they're going to use this underground bunker as the, as the museum. It's a huge thing. And they're going to use that. And so you'll get not only have the museum exhibits, but you'll actually be in the, in, in the bunker area. That's great. Well, great to see you. Good to see you. Make you save you a little time. <laughs> all right. These fellows behave. I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Not all the time. It's so <laughs> fun when you behave all the time. <laughs> you're just getting so thin. You're really huh. you feed him up a little bit. <laughs> My wife keeps after me. She doesn't like me to get overweight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with your wife. There you go. <laughs> good son. Good son. How you doing? Present. All right. How are you? This is Matthew Mutslow. Matthew, hello there. Paul and his mother Elizabeth. Hello. 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 Pleased to meet you. Good to see you. an amazing young man. I met him up in Michigan. His great grandparents come from my state, but he would like to recite for you all the presents, starting with George Washington. I'm glad to hear it because I can't do that. <laughs> you ready? George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, Adams, Andrew Jay. And uh, Andrew Jackson, Andrew Deere, William Harrison, John Tyler, James Clifford, Stephanie Taylor, Miller Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Neighbor Lincoln, Andrew Jackson, Lucy Grant, Richard Beaver, James Garfield, Chuck Harris, Grover Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison, William Buchanan, Taylor Roosevelt, William Tam, Woodrow Wilson, Warren Harding, Calvin Cooley, Sherwood Cooley, Franklin Roosevelt, Pierre Truman, Dwight Eisenhower, John Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, Cheryl Ford, Jimmy Carter, and Ronald Reagan. <laughs> you can also do that with the vice president telling each term of the president and their wives. Well, Who's your favorite president? Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I have two all square around here. Let's get a fan. You can both the fat market on the head. He might take in the next press conference. He could baffle. He's seven years old, and uh, he's a, he started this all by himself in 1985. Itself. It's just great. His teacher was talking about uh, President Washington and Lincoln, and he came home and began to study the science. Just a trip. If you give me my date, uh, Mr. President, he'll tell you who was president at that time. Any date? Any date? Yeah. Um, 1878. 1878, that was Woodford Hayes. And what is the <laughs> 1877 to 1881. Uh, well, his last name was Wheeler. I just happened to hit that date, and I hadn't even thought myself. That was the president who was sitting 
in, right. the, well, not in this office, but here earlier, when from Queen Victoria in England, that desk arrived. Yeah. We have, it's made out of the uh, planks of a British ship called the Resolute, that was caught in the ice on Arctic exploration. Mm -hmm. And one of our whaling vessels found it and brought it out. And we refurbished it and shipped it over to England as a present. And when they decommissioned the ship, the Queen Victoria and put it out of action. It's a, a thank you. We had them carve the planks into that desk and sent it here. Brother Hayes was here to That's good. when it came. That's the right in back. Uh, Matthew would like to present those gifts to you. And that's uh, a book that was recently uh, written by a local lady uh, having to do with the history of our community. And Matthew wrote it out today and the author there brought it out just to, Saturday, and so I'd like you to have that. Well, thank and you very uh, much. that's a paperweight that uh, has a, a coin engraved just for the city of Brown City in the 1976 centennial. We had a centennial year during the bicentennial, and so we'd like you to have those. And well, thank you very much. The people from Brown City uh, send a great. And thank you. You <laughs> should be very proud of who you are. And we're pleased to <laughs> well, you will. Thank you, Mr. President. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a big Thank day for me. Thank you very much. much. Appreciate it. And the parents. <laughs>